was commissioned by the People's National Party. Good evening, PMP people. Karen Cecilia here. Um, I trust you're having a good good Sunday. Um, I trust everybody eating something, drinking something. Everybody's well. Jesus is alive, sitting at the right hand of God. And um, things tough, but we, we, we're mulling through. We're mulling through. And God is good, and we have to give thanks that we are alive uh, and great. So apart from it being a great day, this morning, the, 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 the long-touted poll by Dayton Campbell um, came out. And I just want to say something to you PMP people because I don't want them to confuse you. So I want you to understand. Because, you know, we're not confuse you and we're not telling you any lies. Them, them in there, they're going to tell you pure lie. So let us be clear about something. This poll was commissioned by the People's National Party. Them asked the pollster to go out there and ask Jamaican people how them feel about stuff. Them pay for it. People's National Party commissioned the poll and paid for it. Now, when you commission a poll, you can manipulate the poll. The reason why people commission the poll is because they want a desired result from the poll. I've seen it done many, many times throughout, throughout the world, in England, in the US, in France. Pollsters manipulate the poll to get the results that they want. So anybody can get up and get a poll done and one person can say, boy, you're losing, and then can get an next poll and person say, you are winning. The trick in the poll, however, is how you explain it and what the narrative is that comes out of the poll. So the PMP commissioned this poll and Peter Bontin allowed the gleaner, Peter Bontin allowed the gleaner to, to do the narrative for this poll. So whatever narrative the People's National Party wanted out of the poll, them didn't get it. Not that it's there, but because it can be manipulated in any way you want it, if they control the narrative, they probably could have gotten some good results out of it. If the intention was to show that Andrew Olness is, is going down and his numbers are sinking, then, I mean, no poll are needed for that. Everybody in Jamaica knows that Andrew Olness is going down and his numbers were sinking. But let's, let's take a, a little bit of dive into the numbers so you can understand what exactly these numbers are. In the last poll, Andrew Olness was 38%. Mark Golden was 18%. That's the last poll last year. Remember? We repeated in you how Mark Golden only have 18% compared to Peter Phillips 34% that he had. So you're clear on that. Mark Golden had 18% last year. Andrew Olness had 38% last year. This new poll, Andrew Olness only have 25%. So he lost 13%. This new poll, Mark now only have 14.7%. So he lost 3.3%. Now that is bad. But you know what is even worse than that? What is even worse than that is that Andrew Olness lost 13 points. And Mark Golden did not gain not one of those points. Let me repeat it to you, PMP people. If the government lose 13 points, don't you think that if the opposition leader doing better, some of that 13 points would go to him? Well, that did not happen. That 13 points, the one side, either waiting for Andrew Olness to leave or waiting for Andrew Olness to come, uh, wheel and come again with them. None of them, not even 1% of that 13% went to Mark Golden. Not even one. Andrew Olis lost 13 points and not even one of those points went to Mark Golden. Mark Golden had 18 points. And Mark Golden, 18 points were purely PMP people. He never had no labor rights. He never had no swing voters. He never had no voter with slump on the fence. He had 18% of PNP voters. And what happened in this poll? It now have 14.7, which means that 3.3% of PMP people left him. 
3.3% of PMP people gone. 3.3 of PMP people say him sit down on a park bench looking like a madman, confused and befuddled, talking to himself. Mark Golin has done at least 12 tours around this country. He has been in, in this position for two years and three months and some days. He has gone around the country at least 12 times. You hear them say them dip on tour. And all that time, he did not pick up not even one more PMP. Instead, him lose 3.3. Now, when you talk about backward movement, I eat that. So let me repeat it to you. All of you MPs in there, we are hug him up. And I keep him and councillors and executive and all of you delegates out there. The man had 18% the last time. In poor the island of Jamaica at least 12 times. Maybe more. Every minute you hear them say them on tour. And within that period of time of touring, he never picked up one point. Never picked up not even one more PNP. I wonder for the ear. I mean, I, I know the tired of hearing me. I know the tired of hearing me. But I want you to think about this. The man went into this pool that he commissioned with 18 points. He came out of this pool that he commissioned losing three point three points who on this lost 13 points but none of those 13 points no went to mark not even one them gonna sit on one side then they are nothing with pmp and nothing with mark Golin. but worse than that the man lose three point three of his own pmp 18 points how much longer are we going to sit here with Mark Golin and some people telling us some foolishness about not changing our leader right now and election near. No damn election not near because the government underwater. Them not going to call an election until them feel like something good going to happen to them again. You can't blame them. That's the nature of the politics. While Unugwe sit down there with this dead stock leader, a madman, as Muta Baruka put it, sitting down on a park bench bewildered talking to himself probably he's saying to himself how did i get to lose 3.3 percent of this 18 percent why did pmp people leave me after him tour the island at least 10 times or 12 times and pmp people never never not even one more did he get instead he lost 3.3 three. i don't have to take my word for it you know is him commission the poll is him pay for the poll is bunting give the gleaner for them to write the narrative for them to write the analysis of this poll but know this pmp comrades all is down 13 points i have 500 dollars in my wallet and i bet you every cent of it that mr all is get up tomorrow morning and call us snap elections the pmp will not win at all the GLP would still win why because we don't have a leader who can't even keep the PMP votes that he has he can't even keep those I mean it would have been excellent news this morning if him still having 18 percent but try and imagine just try and imagine how crestfallen and disappointed PMP people feel this morning that him lose 3.3 percent of the 18 percent that he had how chris falling are you feeling these are not liberate votes you know or people who are voting you know? on these are pmp votes pmp votes he had 18 percent off and while he was touring the country and they get to see him and they get to listen to him talk and they get to observe him him lose 3.3 percent and Uno want keep him for go into elections. A warning all of you. Tony Hilton, Natalie Nita, Nita Dennis Daly, Mikhail Phillips. A warning Uno. Uno have 14 seats now. Uno going to an election with Mark Golden. I'm barely coming out with six. 
we don't, don't finish our analysis yet, you know. We're not going to be shocked out on which when we are done and given the total thing. You know, if we don't go in an election with Mark Golden, we're not coming out with no more than six of those votes, in spite of how bad the GLP is performing. How ridiculous is that? I mean, when the other guy lose, we should have win. But the other guy lose, and you will lose what you have. How does that make any sense to any of you? Really? How on God's green hurt does that make any sense to you? That Mr. Ol Mr. lose, he might lose some of what he has, and them now come to you, but the guy that you following leading some of what he losing some of what he has while not getting none of what I've left wholeness. How does that make any sense? What go on the man straight? What go on? On the favor 14.7%. June 20.